Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Ringo Loco. Ringo Loco. Me llama es Ringo Loco. Ringo Loco. We are in 1401 with the finishers. Hey, man. Donde esta la música? No música. Oh. No señal. Necesito más banda. Huh? Looks like they started their first layer. There's that tape I was telling you all about with a little extra width of that mud, the drywall mud. And they're putting in the corner bead. This customer upgraded to rounded corner bead. This is a lot tougher to finish up. And so, I'm assuming, they're, they're still wet in here, so I'm assuming we're gonna start coming through with the trowels, small uh, spackling trowel, and hit these, all these nail heads. So now we're getting taped up. We got the, uh, we do the square corner bead on the windows, or else the rounder would get beat up. But uh, they got the corner bead on. That's kind of the first thing you do is tack up all the corner bead, and then they start hitting the seams. Uh, I'm sorry, they hit the seams first, then attack up the corner bead. On um, building 15, Andrew told me he's going for fire sprinkler inspection tomorrow. That'll be our first rough in inspection. And they're raising their stilts up there so they can get up high. They walk around just like those guys at the county fairs in the big tall stilts. The bathroom two. Boy, we got many tens of thousands of drywall screws left over every time. Could you imagine running out of those when you're hanging drywall? That is like infuriating. And they're very inexpensive, so that's why we, oh, we always oversupply with that. But um, let's take a look at 16 uh, framers. They told me they were gonna be ready for inspection Friday, so they said they need about three hours tomorrow. So I'll call that in for roof sheathing and tie down inspection. Let's see how they put these guys on. You need a hand? Necesita más ayer? Huh? Necesita ayer? No, he doesn't, doesn't need no help at all. Bueno tardes! <laughs> the guy over there, he's going for the Wilt Chamberlain look. They, they go around the shoes and around their calves. Gringo's here, you need help? No, no, it's okay. You want to pass here. I have to go? Uh-huh. Okay, I gotta go, folks. The reason is they want me out of here is uh, since I'm not part of their crew, I don't know how they work and they move. And they don't want this trip, me to make them guys trip, and this guy doesn't want me to be in his way of setting up this Be careful. Be careful. Yes. Whoa. You told me to be careful. <laughs> yes. Gringo loco. Uh huh. Necesita a scooter. Yeah, I got some drywall mud on my back, but no biggie. 